A dog left to die along a road in Mexico was taken in by a local rescue group and he's opened up a whole new world for some Toledo students. Roy visits classrooms at Old Orchard Elementary on a regular basis and his time with the kids has helped many of the students actually improve their writing skills. 13 ABC's Lisa Guyton joins us live to explain Lisa. Well, we have all heard the old excuse, the dog ate my homework. Well, Roy is actually helping kids do their homework. His story has inspired children to expand their horizons and get creative. Roy is a happy-go-lucky dog who had a rough start in life. So he was found um, tied to a pole in a rock pile in Tijuana, Mexico. Roy was rescued and eventually taken in by the Lucas County pit crew. It is cold. He had serious injuries and needed to have one of his legs amputated. Okay, when we finally got him healed up from the amputation and his wheels were donated to him, we went outside, we worked on getting him in, and as soon as we had him in, he was gone down the sidewalk. He just, goodbye, friends, I'm out of here. And he pretty much goes anywhere he wants to go. Gene Keating is the head of the pit crew and a teacher at Old Orchard. She came up with the idea to use Roy's story to help students write their own stories. Who remembers where Roy is from? It's called the Roy Project, and here's how it works. Each month, Roy travels to a different country. He then visits the students in a custom outfit from that country, and the kids write about Roy's adventures. The interest in kids in other countries and other cultures is really coming out in their writing. And I think that was the intent and that's been phenomenal. Today, Roy was showcasing a recent trip to Ireland. They're more motivated to, to write because um, they, they have something real tangible that they can see, they can feel, they can experience. Um, so it, it's more authentic for them because they're writing about something that they're seeing right in front of them. Carrie Meager is a reading and language arts teacher at Old Orchard. It's neat to be able to get those, those tools to be able to reach kids in different ways. And Roy does that for us. Roy has opened up a whole new world for students on multiple levels. It shows kids that they can overcome obstacles. You know, just because there's a bump in the road doesn't mean you stop, you keep going. There's always something better ahead. You just have to keep pushing through. There's always somebody ready to, to help you and, and guide you in whatever you need. Rachel Garth is an eighth grader at Old Orchard. I think he shows the real values of appreciating life and appreciating what you have. He's also helping Rachel improve her writing skills. It helps me write more because I like writing, but I don't really have anything to write about. And when he comes in, it's just like it's something that I can write about and just get into detail with. So it's helped me a lot. A story with a few rough chapters at the start, now inspiring so many others. I always say to the kids, great, you had a couple stumbling blocks. Well, get your wheels and fly down the sidewalk like Roy. You've got this. We are actually... Now, Keating says students also randomly bring her stories they wrote, asking her to share them with Roy. And if he's not there in school, she records herself reading the story to Roy at home and then shares the video with the kids. Now, the teachers are saving the stories the kids have written about their travels with Roy. And at the end of the year, they'll make a binder for each student to keep. Reporting live, Lisa Guyton, 13 ABC Action News. Job well done, Roy.